What's up guys, welcome back. Today, I wanna to talk about the one thing, the only thing you ever need to know to make sure that you succeed at buying those great seats on Ticketmaster. It's super easy to implement, it takes very little planning, and with these skills, it has the potential to double your chances at getting those great, great seats. What is it? using multiple devices. Now, if you watched my video on Ticketmaster Verified Fan Presales a couple of weeks ago, you would already know the answer because you guys had great, great questions in the comments and you guys already discovered this, but I didn't quite get the chance to explain it in full detail. But because of the amount of questions that you guys had, I figured why not just make a video covering all the specifics to make sure that you understand how to use multiple devices on Ticketmaster. Let's dive into it. Hey guys, my name is Shiraz. I'm Thumbs Up Run here, where I love to talk tickets and run running. On this channel, I love to talk about all things related to tickets, ticket buying, ticket selling, how to get tickets, how to sell tickets, how to have the most amount of fun when you're using those tickets. Today, I wanna to talk about using multiple devices on Ticketmaster. Now, keep in mind, this only works when there's a weight room involved with Ticketmaster. If there's no weight room, this skill is kind of useless, but it is the number one tip I have for you to make sure you get those great seats. So a couple of things here. One, let's talk about what do I mean by multiple devices. Two, I want to talk about the different things you need to have set up with those multiple devices to make sure that you're ready to succeed. And three, what is the actual ticket buying process and all the steps to take once you're actually ready to buy those tickets. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm really excited. This is an exciting, exciting thing. So first off, multiple devices. What exactly do I mean? When I say multiple devices, I mean the physical, actual devices that you're going to be using. I don't mean going in and opening multiple tabs on your computer. So it could be your phone, it could be your laptop, iPad, tablet, smart TV. Well, I don't know if a smart TV would work. If you can buy tickets on a smart TV, that would count too. Basically, it's any device that you're using to buy tickets on Ticketmaster. So if you're on your mobile phone trying to go buy tickets to that event, and then you're on your laptop to buy tickets on that event, then you have your iPad going to buy tickets on that event, and you have another laptop going to buy tickets on that event. That's a lot of stuff going on. But basically having these different devices going at the same time, searching for that same event, gives you more and more chances to get those great, great seats. Now, what do I recommend you use? I would say actually using two mobile devices. We'll dive into why that makes sense in a bit, but that's where I would lead you towards. Now, if you only have one mobile device and a laptop or a mobile device and an iPad, nothing wrong with that, those work perfectly fine, but there are certain things if you're not using two mobile devices that we need to make sure we take care of. Now, what I'm gonna talk about next is very, very important. The actual settings and things you need to have set up so that you succeed when you wanna buy these tickets. Now, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is not mandatory, but it is highly, highly recommended. What am I talking about here? I'm talking about using different networks when you're buying these tickets. Now, what does that mean? What am I trying to say? Basically, if you have a mobile device and you have a laptop, you don't want them both to be connected on the same Wi-Fi network. Reason behind that is Ticketmaster's algorithm is always thinking, always playing, always trying to catch those people using bots and you know bot-like technologies and things that just make you appear like you're not a human. And by having multiple devices all coming from the same network, all searching for the exact same event at the exact same time, it can lead Ticketmaster to think that, hey, maybe these people are bot and they're trying to you know, beat the system, cheat, get all the tickets and run away. And obviously that's not who you are. Well, I don't know. Could be you, maybe not, I hope not. But we're not trying to be bots, we're just trying to be fans who wanna go get great seats. So what I recommend is not having all your devices connected to the same network. So, like I said, if you have two mobile devices, it makes it a lot easier because you can just go into data for both of them. If you're on data for both of them, or one's on data and one's on Wi-Fi, great, it means they're coming in from two different IP addresses or two different networks. And when you do that, it's gonna show to Ticketmaster that hey, there are two different access points coming to this event. Great, let's let them in. They're probably just great fans who want to attend this event. We'll potentially give them a good spot in line. On the flip side, if they're all coming in from the same network, so there's 10 people all on the same Wi-Fi network all trying to buy tickets to that same event, Ticketmaster might view this as, hey, there's a lot of you know bot-like activity going on here. I don't know if we should let all these people through. And so what could happen is potentially Ticketmaster could place some or all of these people at the very end of the weight room line. We don't like losing, therefore we will not be doing that. And also because we don't like losing, we like to hit that like button. But with that being said, you gotta work with what you have. So if you're at home and you only have a laptop and a tablet, then they're all just connected to the same Wi-Fi network, go ahead and do it. Now just keep in mind though, there's a risk, there's always a risk that they might move you to the end of the line. So try and keep this type of activity to the minimum, and if you can, get on different networks. Now, physically, how do you wanna have everything set up? I like to have my thing set up so that I can see all the screens at the same time. I like to have my laptop in front and then my mobile phone to the side. If this were a desk, I would have laptop in front, mobile phone to the side. Ooh, ooh, very easy. Obviously, this is a personal preference thing. I like to do it that way. Some people like to do it different ways. 
You can have all sorts of different setups, but at the end of the day, as long as you can make sure that you're paying attention and keeping track of what's happening on every single screen, that's how you're gonna succeed. If you have phone over here and phone over there and phone down here and phone up there and you know one behind your back, if you can't see everything that's happening at once, you're gonna run into problems keeping track of where everything is. Now, let's get into the actual ticket buying process where you actually need to put all these different skills to the test. What's gonna happen is when you wanna go buy those tickets, you actually have to go ahead and generally log into the event. So when you're logging in, this is where I'm getting back to why I like to use two mobile devices yet again. When you log in, many times when you wanna get into that wait room, you gotta log into your Ticketmaster account, then you gotta do that second step, the two-factor verification with a mobile device phone number. So if you have two mobile devices, you're gonna get two different codes on each phone, makes it nice and easy, type the code in for this one, type the code in for this one, success. Now, if you have a phone and a laptop or a phone and tablet, that's where it's more tricky because you can't use the same phone number for both devices. How come? Again, comes back to how the Ticketmaster algorithm works. If you're using the same mobile device when you're logging into different accounts, what's gonna happen is Ticketmaster saying, hey, everyone is using the same phone number to log into this event. If they're all using the same phone number, it generally means they're the same person. And if the same person logged in many, many times to the same event, bot activity, bot activity, bot, bot alert, bot alert, bot alert, Ticketmaster thinks you're a bot and they're gonna put you back in the line. Again, we don't wanna do that. Don't do that. So having two different mobile devices makes it a lot easier because then you can go ahead and log in on the first mobile device with your account, use that for the phone number for that account, log into the other device on this account, use this phone number for that account. Nice and easy, keep everything separate. Basically, just remember this, every device should be its own unique individual. Very easy, very clean, very simple, foolproof. Now, I just alluded to this, when you're going to actually buy those tickets, here's the steps to follow. One. Make sure that each device is using its own separate Ticketmaster account. If you're using the same account multiple times trying to get into the same event, Ticketmaster says, hey, this is bot-like activity, we're gonna send you to the back of the line. Now, once you've logged in, the next step that you'll generally run into when you're using a Ticketmaster wait room is the two-factor authentication. The way it works simply is you're gonna have your mobile device number, you're gonna plug it in, Ticketmaster will send you a code which you'll then enter in. What that means is every device is gonna need its own phone number. You don't wanna be using the same phone number for multiple accounts. Ticketmaster will be able to link all these accounts saying, hey, they're all tied to this one phone number. They're all being used by the same person. We don't wanna have this one person trying to buy all the tickets. Send us the back of the line. Again, separate phones, separate devices, separate phone numbers, separate Ticketmaster accounts, separate everything, everything. So last step, you wanna hit the big blue button, get yourself into that wait room. And now all you can do is just wait and hope and wait and wait. And once the Ticketmaster wait room opens up, hopefully you've got yourself a great, great number. If you're in that first 2,000, fantastic. If you're in the first 1,000, amazing. If you're number one, you have won at life yet again. And if you are like me, and many, many times I end up at 2,000 plus, unfortunately, you did not win. <sighs> But I hope that you guys are the winners because I wanna make sure that you're buying those great, great seats all the time. So just follow those simple steps, use multiple devices, use separate networks, use separate logins, use separate phone numbers, use separate everything. Do not be associated with someone else. Do not be the same person as somebody else. You are your own person, so you should have the most success. Hope that kind of clarified all those questions you had about using multiple devices on Ticketmaster. If you're still confused, definitely leave them a comment below. I always love getting your questions. I'll be sure to get back to you. Now, if you found this very helpful, be sure to subscribe because I have a lot of great content coming up in the next couple of weeks. So if you wanna stay informed, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Do it, do it, do it. I will wait for you. So yeah, I think that kind of covers everything. And I'll see you guys next time.